I'm Lisa Reed and in this video I'm going to be giving you a few different exercises to improve your bottom picking. If you're a complete beginner, keep watching from this point. If you're not and you really just want a few different exercises to improve what you have, then skip a few minutes. So what is alternate picking? Well, alternate picking is basically going between downstrokes and upstrokes. So if you had a downstroke, the next one will be an upstroke, then another downstroke, then another upstroke. When you're a beginner, you will most likely stick to downstrokes. So most people when they start playing guitar will learn the pentatonic scale and they will generally play it like this. Every stroke that I did there was a downstroke. But if I were to do this with alternate picking, it would be like this. So yeah, that's basically what alternate picking is. The first exercise is basically all done on one string. And the reason for that is because you really need to get into the habit of basically doing up and down strokes before you even begin to do them on the other strings. So for this exercise, it's basically the idea is four notes. So you can do this on whatever string you want, you can do it wherever you want on the neck, but generally what you would do is on one string, you would have a down stroke followed by an up stroke, then another down stroke followed by another up stroke. So it would be like this. you want to do is keep this going. So you want to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This exercise really focuses on your picking hand and it gets you used to the up and down motion before you start doing anything else. The second exercise basically follows on from the first. So it's pretty much the same exercise but instead of doing it on one string we are going to be doing it over six. So we would start on the E string, down, up, down, up, then we would head on to the A string and do another, down, up, down, up. We would do that across all strings, so it would basically sound like this. So that's the second exercise. The third exercise that I have for you guys is by far the most complicated, but I think you'll have a bit more fun with this one than you will the other two. So this is how it sounds, first of all. This whole exercise is that but across all six strings and the reason it's good is because with the second exercise every first stroke in the second exercise is a down stroke so it's basically the same so down up down up down up down up down up down up for practice purpose that's really good but when you're in the real world and you are playing along with other people you are very rarely doing four notes across every string. So if you only practice that exercise, then you're gonna get a bit muddled up when it comes to doing other things. This exercise is basically an all-rounder. So once you're past the other two and you're feeling a bit comfortable, this one is the one to go to afterwards. Because the first string is pretty much the same. Down, up, down, up. Then you're gonna go into the next string and only play the first note, which will be down. And then you go back to the low A string, so it'll be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. So if I play it slower, you guys can probably pick it up a little bit easier, but this is basically what it is. So 
So it's basically that, but on all six strings. And this exercise is really good because it gets you on a different stroke basically every time. So the first time you go through your first four notes, by the time you get to it a second time, you're not doing the same pattern as you did the first time. So it basically gets you out of that habit of every first stroke on the next string being a down stroke. Alright, so we've reached the end of the video. A couple of words of advice would be to start slow. Whenever you do a new exercise on guitar, do not try to rush and do it really quickly because it will end up sloppy. <laughs> Basically, start it out really slow and concentrate on what you're doing with your picking hand. So you really want to be able to tell if you're doing it right or if you're doing it wrong. And you cannot do that if you're trying to play it really fast. So if you're a beginner, start off slow, gradually speed it up. But also if you've never done alternate picking before, do the first exercise first, then the second, then the third.